what's up everyone, CB Moddy here back with another video and screen protectors. We've all used them, we've all seen them and we sort of know what they're about, but do we really need them here in 2017? Now for some people screen protectors are a definite yes, whether that will be due to work hazards or just being personally a little bit on the clumsy side and dropping your phone all the time, screen protectors can still have their value. However, for a lot of people it is becoming more and more of a no option thanks to modern advancements in technology and also to the fact of why would you pour $1,200 into a brand new phone just to slap a $1 piece of plastic over the top of it and have a terrible overall experience. So definitely depending on who you ask will get you a different response. But actually taking a look at most modern handsets, do we actually need a screen protector on them? Now if we go ahead and rule out accidental drops here and there and actual physical damage to the device, phones have gotten really strong in recent years with companies like HTC offering the U Ultra in a sapphire crystal edition basically giving you the front and back cover glass in sapphire crystal. Now sapphire crystal is new to the high-end tech world however it's actually been out for quite a while on the high-end accessory world with things like watches actually getting sapphire crystal for a very long time. The benefit of this crystal is it's really hard to scratch and stays new looking for a very long time which is very important for watches as they do take quite a beating and if we can scale that up to a whole sized phone we'll get the durability that a lot of watches have in our full screen devices. Now whilst this won't stop your screen shattering from a two story drop at the end of the day it definitely is a lot more rugged and a lot more durable than our standard Gorilla Glass and also to standard tempered glass. So HTC is definitely on a winner with their Sapphire Crystal Edition. However Sapphire Crystal is hard to manufacture, expensive to manufacture and really only one or two companies actually offer any phones with a sapphire crystal option. Which brings us to our next latest advancement in technology and that is Gorilla Glass 5 and Gorilla Glass 6 subsequently when that does launch. Now Gorilla Glass is essentially a treated piece of glass that is a little bit more stronger and a little bit more scratch resistant and a little bit more shatter resistant than well normal tempered glass. At the end of the day it is still glass and isn't sort of like sapphire crystal but it it is still much more rugged and durable than your standard piece of tempered glass. Most things that your phone will encounter on a day to day basis such as keys, chargers and various other things that may be in your bag shouldn't scratch Gorilla Glass 5 and it is a fairly durable piece at that. But where it does have a bit of a letdown is definitely in the drops department as we've all seen on the internet with plenty of phones being dropped and smashed, well they do break at the end of the day. But how strong is it? Can you really get by without a screen protector with just Gorilla Glass 5? And the answer is, well, yes. Here is my Huawei P9, which I used for about three or four months now, and it has not had a screen protector on it, and it was my daily driver, 100% use and abuse. And honestly, unless you get out a macro lens and a microscope, you're not gonna be seeing any sorts of damage on this screen. Overall, for just general B-roll shots, it looks in mint condition, and this is something that wouldn't have happened a number of years ago, as tempered glass would have scratched just like that. So, Gorilla Glass 5 on the Huawei P9 and many other modern handsets has really come a long way and honestly doesn't really need any protection over it. If you're going to be damaging the Gorilla Glass 5, chances are that damage would go through your screen protector, not only gouging a big gash in your plastic screen protector, but also to then damaging the screen on the device. And back in 2010 when screens were still rocking the old tempered glass, sure, a screen protector would have been really, really important to have. In fact, personally, back when I had the iPhone 3, that was a really important thing to have because that screen scratched like there was no tomorrow. But in today's modern world with awesome new handsets and Gorilla Glass 5, there really isn't that much of a need. But TLDR, do you need a screen protector? Honestly, no, not really. With Gorilla Glass 5 and new technology such as Sapphire Crystal, there really isn't that much of a need for it. However, if you are in a job or are in a place where you might want to add some extra protection, grabbing a glass screen protector rather than a plastic one may be an option for you, or just putting on a strong and reliable case to keep your screen protected. At the end of the day, screens are going to break if you drop them, so there's not really that much you can do, but for day-to-day -day general scratches and bumps, screens are perfectly fine for taking it. But do let me know down in the comment sections, do you run a screen protector or don't you run a screen protector? And if you don't run a screen protector, also do let me know why. Personally, I don't really think they're needed anymore, but do let me know what you think down in the comment sections. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you all in the next one.